Hey, sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. The 1965 Topps baseball set is somewhat unique in that all four rookie cards of Hall of Famers are featured on multiplayer cards. Jim Catfish Hunter, Tony Perez, Joe Morgan, and Steve Carlton. The backs feature a horizontal layout with a bluish-green border featuring full career stats, a cartoon, and a brief comment about the player. Half of the cards in the high number series, cards numbers 523 to 598, are short printed, making them even harder to find. The middle series cards can also provide difficulties for set collectors as they were distributed in both 5 cent and 1 cent packs. 1965 Topps Baseball is a great entry level set for collectors looking to test the waters of vintage collecting. The set displays very well in graded conditions as low as four, making the rookie cards and key veterans relatively affordable. Loaded with big names, this set very much represents the start of a change in the sport, mixing a group of budding stars with outgoing superstar players. In this video, I'm going to show off the top 10 most valuable cards from the 1965 top set based on their PSA 7 values. I'll also give the values of those cards in higher grades as well as the population count of those grades. Now, before I get to the top 10, here are the cards that just missed the top 10. At number 15, the Frank Robinson card. At number 14, the Ernie Banks card. At number 13, the Catfish Hunter rookie card, which is in the high number series. At number 12, the Richie Allen All-Star rookie cup card. And at number 11, the Bob Gibson card. So, which cards made the top 10 list? Let's go find out. Coming in at number 10, we have the Tony Oliva All-Star Rookie Cup card. In the PSA 7, there have been 220 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $204. There have been 241 graded a PSA 8, and they sell for around $431. There have been 29 graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in January of 2023 through eBay, and it sold for $1,899. There has been one graded a PSA 10. The last PSA 10 sale was in December of 2015, and it sold for $3,200. So who knows what that Tony Oliva card in a PSA 10 would sell for today. At number 9, we have the Tony Perez rookie card, which is a high number short print. In a PSA 7, there have been 703 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $218. There have been 609 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $392. In a PSA 9, there have been 98 graded copies. The last PSA 9 sale was in December of 2022 through Mile High Auctions, and it sold for $1,837. There have been four graded a PSA 10. The last PSA 10 sale was on September of 2023 through Mile High Auctions as well for $39,000. $536, placing the Tony Perez rookie card at the number four spot in terms of PSA 10 values. At number eight, we have the Joe Morgan rookie card. In a PSA 7, there have been 698 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $305. There have been 540 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $879. There have been 85 graded A PSA 9. They sell for around $3,762. There have been two graded A PSA 10. The last PSA 10 was in May of 2021 through Heritage Auction, and it sold for $144,000, placing the Joe Morgan rookie card at the number one spot in terms of PSA 10 values. At number 7, we have the Hank Aaron card. In a PSA 7, there have been 907 graded copies with a current average price 
of $346. There have been 619 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $992. In a PSA 9, there have been 106 graded copies. They sell for around $5,107, placing the Hank Aaron at the number 5 spot in terms of PSA 9 values. There have been 3 graded a PSA 10. The last PSA 10 sale was in December of 2018, through Memory Lane, and it sold for $19,176, also placing the Hank Aaron at the number 5 spot in terms of PSA 10 values. At number 6, we have the Steve Carlton rookie card. In a PSA 7, there have been 1,322 graded copies. They sell on average for $381. There have been 1,163 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $727. In a PSA 9, there have been 226 graded copies. They sell for around $3,212. There have been 7 graded a PSA 10. The last two PSA 10 sales were on August of 2023 for $87,000 through REA, and then in September of 2023 for $67,200 through Golden Auction, giving a PSA 10 an average current price of $77,100, placing the Steve Carlton rookie card at the number two spot for PSA 10 values. At number five, we have the Pete Rose card. In a PSA 7, there have been 817 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $390. There have been 492 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $1,406. There have been 67 graded a PSA 9. They sell for around $14,322 placing the Pete Rose at the number 3 spot in terms of PSA 9 values. There have been two graded at PSA 10. The only recorded sale in VCP's database took place in September of 2020 through eBay, and it sold for $42,000, also placing the Pete Rose at the number 3 spot in terms of PSA 10 graded cards. At number 4... We have the Willie Mays card. In a PSA 7, there have been 718 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $409. There have been 523 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $1,229. In a PSA 9, there have been 71 graded copies. The last PSA 9 sale was in April of 2023 through REA auction, and it sold for $4,560. There have been two graded at PSA 10. The only PSA 10 recorded was back in April of 2007 through Mastro auction, and it sold for $6,544. So again, you never know what this Willie Mays card in a PSA 10 would sell for today. All right, at number three, we have the Sandy Koufax card. In a PSA 7, there have been 661 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $437. There have been 511 graded at PSA 8. They sell for $1,119. There have been 68 graded at PSA 9. They sell for around $7,601 placing the Sandy Koufax at the, at the number 4 spot in terms of PSA 9 values. There has not been a Sandy Koufax graded a PSA 10. At number 2, we have the Roberto Clemente card. In a PSA 7, there have been 724 graded copies with a VCP average price of $438. There have been 480 graded a PSA 8, they sell for around $1,231. There have been 63 graded at PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale was in January of 2023 through Heritage Auction, and it sold for $18,600, placing the 
placing the Roberto Clemente also at the number two spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies. There has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Roberto Clemente card. And as you may have guessed, the number one most valuable card from the 1965 top set is, yes, the Mickey Mantle. In the PSA 7, there have been 685 graded copies. And look at that VCP average price, $2,084, a big jump from the number two card, the Roberto Clemente. In the PSA 8, there have been 458 graded copies. They sell for around $4,332. There have been 57 graded at PSA 9. They sell on average for $23,700, placing the Mickey Mantle also at the number one spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies. And there has not been a Mickey Mantle graded a PSA 10. Well, there you go. The top 10 most valuable cards from the 1965 Topps baseball set. As always, would love to know in the comments what you think about the cards that made the top 10 list. And if you've missed some of the videos in this series, here are two that you can check out. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.